I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will take up an example which relates distance, speed and time. The question is, two trains are approaching each other along parallel tracks. One train traveled at 100 km per hour and goes twice as fast as the other. If their distance apart is 450 km, in how many hours will they pass each other? So the situation here is that there are two trains traveling in parallel tracks, right? So let's say these are the parallel tracks and the distance between them is 450 kilometers. Let's say one is traveling this direction, the other one in that. So let's call these trains as train A and B. Two trains are approaching each other along parallel tracks. One train travels at 100 kilometers per hour and goes twice as fast as other. So let's say uh, speed of A is 100 kilometers per hour. It goes twice as fast as B. That means speed of B is half of A, right? A divided by 2 which is 100 divided by 2 and is 50 kilometers per hour. Is that clear? One train travels at 100 kilometers per hour. A is traveling at 100 kilometers per hour and goes twice as fast as the other. So if other is 50, it is twice. You can see the other way, right? If their distance apart is 450 kilometers, in how many hours will they pass each other, right? So total distance is 450. When will they pass each other? That is the question. Now, we could do in many different ways. We could actually also adopt a method of ratios. Since A is traveling twice with respect to B, ratio of A to B is actually 2 is to 1. Do you see? So the if the total distance is t, which in case is 3, for example, in that case, a will cover twice the distance as b. So we can say that somewhere here they are going to meet. Is that okay? This distance is such that their ratio of a and b is 2 is to 1. How do we get this ratio? Okay, let's get back to our distance, speed, time concept, right? Let's understand a few concepts. Uh, that's the triangle we normally work with. Distance, speed, and time. So as you can see here, distance is speed into time. So the time when they meet is same. So time is same for both. Is it okay? Time is same for both. Since the speed is different, distance will be different. Since the speed is twice, distance covered will be twice. Do you see that? Distance covered will be twice by A than with B. So the distance will be 2 is to 1. So what we can do here is, now we know, we'll do ratios. We know that the total is 450. If 450 is total, what should be A and what should be B. So that is what it is. So ratio is 450 divided by 3 gives us 150, right? So this we get when we multiply 3 by 150. So in ratios, you have to multiply these also by the same term to get your answer. So for B, it will be 150. And 2 times 150 is 300. Correct? So the distance traveled by A will be 300. And by B, it will be 150, both in kilometers, of course. Now, once we know the distance, we can find time. So time is distance. Let's say if we take for A, time for A. Distance is 300 divided by speed, which is 100. We have used for time, 
distance over speed. Time is equal to distance over speed. And we are working for A, we get time as equal to 3 hours. If you do for B, then what do you get? 150 is the distance and the speed is 50. You still get 3 hours as expected, same time, right? So 3 hours. So likewise, you could actually use ratios and solve this question. Now this is uh, one of the solutions which uh, some students can do. The other solution which I'll provide here is uh, using the concept that total distance between them was 450. So whenever they meet, distance covered will be 450. Correct? So what we are saying here is distance covered by both will be 450 kilometers, right? Whenever they meet, right? So how much distance will A cover? So we say DA, distance covered by A plus distance covered by B should be 450. This is what we are trying to say. Now what is distance equal to? The formula states that distance is equals to speed into time. Speed into time. Is it okay? So we can write down distance for A, speed is 100. So it is 100 T for B is 50. 50 T is equals to 450. Or 150, when you add them, T equals to 450 t equals to 450 divided by 150 so you get 3 of course your units are hours is it okay so now the question is in how many hours will they pass each other so they'll pass each other in 3 hours so we can write answer in 3 hours they will pass is it okay so both ways we get the same answer. We could adopt the method of ratios or we could adopt this method that total distance will be 450. A covered 300, B covered 150, right? So I could have asked how much distance B will cover when they meet. That's also a question which, are, which can arise from this situation. So in this video, you do learn different approaches of solving um, word problems. But the common factor remains is you have to define your variables, write equations, and then use a method which can take minimum time to solve. I hope that helps. Share your views and post questions. Thank you. All the best.